Hey y'all, um, I am here at uh, Leeds Gallery, which is um, at Earlham College, and um, they have given me a solo show. Um, so thank you very much, Earlham College, appreciate it. Um, and so I have put up a whole bunch of my work, a um, little bit of old work, a lot of new work, um, and I'm really proud of it. And so I wanted to show y'all. Um, all the students are gonna be able to see it, um, but it is a closed campus because of quarantine. Um, and so I just thought I would uh, add suggestion from um, Melinda Torres. Um, thought I would give a virtual tour so that you all could see it because I'm really proud of it. Um, so this first uh, selection of work is probably my newest work. Um, it's a series that I worked on starting with this one. Um, it is my I Shall Not series. Um, sometimes when you're trying to figure out uh, what it is you do want, you got to figure out what you don't want. And so I hope that the titles of these, which I'm going to share with you, um, reflect through the I shall not, um, the big, bigger picture of uh, maybe what we do want. Um, so this is a self-portrait. This one is uh, called I Shall Not Be Contained, uh, which you can kind of see through the, the shirt, right? Uh, busting out of the box. <laughs> Um, this next one, if we can move a little bit, um, this next one is called I Shall Not Be Broken. The next one in the series, moving along, is uh, called I Shall Not Be Moved, which reflects a little bit um, back to the old um, spiritual uh, I, I Shall Not Be Moved. I'm sure y'all are familiar with that. That's sort of uh, where the lyrical inspiration came from for the titles. And the next one is called I Shall Not Be Caged. Anybody zoom in on that one just for a minute, if you can? Or just get a little closer? There's a uh, in the clothing of these, there's some some um, galaxy detail. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Um, just to sort of sort to sort of um, counter the the um, the titles a little bit, you know, um, trying to suggest uh, limitlessness um, through um, trying to let go of our own boundaries and and the boundaries that other people put on us. And then we'll move on to the last one in this series, which is called uh, I Shall Not Be Tamed. And my art statement is over there. The title of the show is called Fluid, and I'm referring to um, fluidity of identity. Fluidity of identity in a lot of different ways. You can be um, fluid in identity, of course, uh, as suggested in this one, um, through gender fluidity, uh, through sexual fluidity, um, through ethnicity and race fluidity, through age fluidity. There's all kinds of ways in which um, our identity is fluid. And so I'm really trying to offer examples of, um, geez, all different kinds of ways in which we can uh, define ourselves that um, are not static, because we're not. We change and grow all the time. We are fluid as human beings. So we're going to go over to this other wall. So the wall is just a continuation of lots of different um, iterations, experimentations, in that idea of uh, fluidity of identity. Um, so this is a piece titled, and mo most of these pieces are titled um, by the person's name. Uh, this is Alok. Uh, they are a public figure, public speaker, poet, writer, um, speaking a lot about this idea of uh, the fluidity of identity, somebody that I identify with a lot. Um, next one is um, called, uh, actually has a more specific title, it's called A Boy with a Pearl Earbud. It's a little take on Vermeer's Girl with a uh, Pearl Earring. Um, 
So lots of different kinds of fluidity there. In this one, I was just thinking about um, ethnic and race fluidity and what, we, what kind of assumptions we make about each other when we see each other. And within the context of um, the history of painting as well. Right? So moving to the next step here, I have a self-portrait on the top, um, exploring fluidity of emotion, the subtlety of emotion, my own emotion, um, and also just uh, fluidity of painting. I've been trying to dissect my own idea of what does painting, drawing, or print making mean to me? How do I break my own rules? How do I bust out of my own box? I put more of a box on myself than anybody else probably. And so the bottom one is a study that I did and it's titled Woman. And there's a, a transgendered woman, a gender fluid woman, and another portrait of myself, um, a gay woman. Um, and so, you know, what does it mean to be a woman? So pairing these two next to each other, just trying to have more of a complex conversation through more than one piece. Moving on to the next one. This one is uh, Madison. This is probably one of the very first pieces that I did within this series. A uh, former student of mine, really fantastic guy, um, transgender uh, student, and one of the first people that I'd had a conversation, one of my first students I had a conversation with about this whole new, new ideas of, of non-binary gender fluidity. And then a few more. This is another person that I um, just developed a friendship with at an artist in residence. His name is Matisse, also gender fluid. Beautiful, beautiful face. Couldn't help but paint that one. And then next one is Alex, good friend of mine, exploring once again mental and emotional fluidity. And then another one on the end down here is Riley, another lovely individual I met. Gender fluid. And then back around here to the last two. Uh, mannequin, this one's called Mannequin. This is also another uh, public figure who uh, presents in a very gender fluid way and talks about it. Uh, big presence on Instagram. And anyone, most of the photographs I take myself, but uh, on occasion I'll come across someone who's already taken a really great photograph or is a public figure. And anytime I use someone else's photograph, um, I make sure and um, email them and ask for permission. Um, sorry about the background noise there. Um, to just make sure that it's okay with them if I use their photo. And this was already a really great photo, so just was dying to, to do this one. And then, right next, last but not least, um, my good friend Al, who uh, cut my hair for years. Um, good ending. So thank you all very much. I appreciate you listening. Um, let me know what you think. And hopefully pretty soon, we'll be able to look at and share art and hug and stuff once all this is over. <laughs> I love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.